Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 Quarterfinals match between Mankiz and his Wood Elves versus Ducky and his Wood Elves and in the booth with me is the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Purple Chest. Hello. Hello, thank you Jimmy. I am so looking forward to this one. What an absolute treat of Wood Elfing. Uh, as everyone knows, I'm a big fan of the Elves. I consider myself a bit of an Elf expert. Uh, and I think this is going to be thrilling. For everyone else in the Chalice, they're just going to be excited to see one of these absolutely brilliantly built Elf teams put out. Yeah, and of course, Singolo is awaiting the winner of these, so whoever wins is going to be in for some pain next next uh, round. Um, yeah, we've seen him. We've seen him mangle many a very nice looking agility team in the past with a you know eleven hundred dwarf team that somehow still has fifteen guards. Yeah, yeah, and this this is very interesting actually. Uh, there might be a clue to how Ducky's going to approach this one. He he did say in a ch in a blood bowl in a stream chat or somewhere that it's going to be very exciting with neither neither team having a really a way to defend the ball. So nope. the fact that he's moved these three up it looks like he's going to go straight for a two turn score. Yeah, I think we're going to see a shootout, Jim. Mm. Some, and so you know some really cool teams uh, Ducky has two adjunct dancers which is obviously completely ridiculous isn't it two adjunct dancers uh, only one guard I believe I believe only one guard and this move up guy um, where uh, and, a, and a strength guy or two guards okay he's got two guards a strength up guy a move up guy and two adjunct guys a block guard tree very nice uh, Mankiz is a bit less, which is how he's got the wizard. That makes obviously defending the ball even more impossible for Ducky. Yeah. Um, only edge four dances though. <laughs> only edge four. Uh, two move up catches, an edge up lino, and about three guard total for uh, Mankiz. Oh, I guess there's three guard for Ducky as well because he's got guard on the tree, right? So yeah, both teams have Yes, three I think guard. we half count the tree, don't we? I mean, it yeah. can be used as a fulcrum by good creative players. And straight away we see that tree take the advantage. It's also block as well as guard, which uh, does up its value massively. Mm. As always, there is a long shot here. We uh, we very rarely see, obviously, Chaos teams or Nurgle teams damage each other. We do often see two Elf teams come together and sort of half of them end up dead. So yeah. I think those that don't love the Elves can always hope that happens, despite the total lack of Mighty Blow. Yep. Hello, Fymir! Hello. Sorry for the delay. I... I fall asleep. I uh, have an excuse. <laughs> well, you are Spanish. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. But I couldn't let pass this chance of having monkeys versus ducky. This beautiful game between elves, which could be very interesting, and it's gonna be dedicated to our viewers in Gabon, in Central oh. Africa. They speak French there, you know. And the national flower is the flame tree which is a very cool name for a tree, if you ask me. And the mm. national, this is the Nyembe, the chicken Nyembe. Oh. I'm 100% sure I didn't pronounce right. But it's chicken, <laughs> and in this channel, we love chicken. <laughs> yeah, we can't be bad if it's chicken. <laughs> Glorious. Glorious dedication. Do you think Duke, Duke could just move everything up here, right, and then bang it in next turn, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. Gabon, of course, also well known for a single family being in power since 1967 uh, and its human rights abuses of migrant workers. But, you know, it, it's a lovely place. Um, and welcome to the Gabonese. Yeah, almost as. <laughs> God. Um, no, I'm not going to. Let's not. Don't not fall into that, uh, into PC's trap. No, this no, is the kid that our viewers there. I was just going to say, not as famous as Michael Gambon, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. I like that reference. <laughs> Reminds me of the fact that all famous Belgians are invented. There you go. So the quick score scoring strategy, it's been closed down reasonably well. Um, you know, Mankis has but has moved his entire team over to uh, harass those scoring threats that were pushed up by Ducky. And Ducky has of course instantly swapped sides behind his block tree. But this time it hasn't uh, taken advantage over the entirely rookie tree uh, mm. from Mankis' side. And I'm surprised he didn't go forward, right? He could have moved that guy first, yeah. and then he could have got the dancer to here, and then he could have chanced to GFI to be in scoring range, right? So, like, yeah, I guess he's not that fussed about scoring. I guess this guy, this dancer can get in scoring range. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not now? Oh, yeah, he still can. Well, that's the dwarf coach in you speaking, Jimmy. Um, you know, GFIs are not free movement. <laughs> I think you'll find it's do dodges the oh, free movement. Running through, yep, dodges are free movement as he do as he dodges through there, tackles him down. 
I didn't even think of this player. Flip me. I like that a lot. Um, mm. It's still only a two plus, of course. Oh. It's a hit on a dancer. Wow. And as I predicted, we are seeing the deaths mount up. Wow, instant apple, but it instant works. Instant apple. Yeah, not even thinking. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't, would you? No, no, obviously. Obvious instant apple. Yeah, there's never been a more obvious instant apple in your life. But yeah, what a, what a play by Ducky. Very nice. Beautiful. Really nice. And, and of course, uh, that diagonal double screen he's now got up ahead of the likely angle of assault on his cage. Plus, that dancer, even if it hadn't gone down, would have been controlled by those two. Uh, Ooh, really making this... Uh, the classic... This switch incredibly safe. Yeah, and another death. The classic casual dodge out there. It's a rookie catcher. It can't be apoed, can it? It can't, no. no. But still sad. Sad for his... And he's got 13 players, so he can... He can... You know, that's not killing him too much for the rest of the tournament in terms of pure numbers. And nope. hello, Flicky. Um, not bad, thanks. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Flicky's here. This is, uh, must be a big game in there. Flicky, Flicky, Flicky. <laughs> Flicky has uh, Miss uh, Ducky's uh, favorite player. <laughs> Died. <laughs> My favorite player, man. How are you? <laughs> and excitingly for Satterfield and fans of the European style of dancer, uh, we are now going to see this frenzy dancer be the uh, the main threat from the Mankis side for the whole of this drive. Oof. And in other news, what a great save from Neuer. Um, to keep it nil-nil. <laughs> do you think that limits um, what he can do in terms of cage breaking, the fact that it's on a frenzy dancer? It does a little bit, doesn't it? Um, it doesn't limit it, it just makes it more high risk, um, doesn't it? You know, like if you can frenzy trap himself into places, ultimately he's still going to go for it, isn't he? So it doesn't yeah, has It to. doesn't essentially limit him, it just, it's just going to make it less appealing and uh, less likely to work, but he's, he's still going to have to go for it, right? He, when the opportunity well, presents itself, you just does he, Jim? I mean, you can always just not defend, you know, threaten <laughs> and screen and be somewhere near because with only one dancer on the pitch uh, and the apo gone, you know, surround that, get it down, and things could look bleak for the whole rest of the game. No, oh, yeah, I'm not saying he has to go in now, but what I'm saying is when he has to go in, he has to go in, and it's just going to be like a hindrance. It's not going to, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to factor into whether he does it or not. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm tend to yeah, be quite okay. conservative when I go in anyway. So because I'm conservative in going in, it wouldn't affect me much. Yeah, maybe that's what I should have said. So it might right. it might turn off a less conservative coach. But I think if you're risking your dancer to win the game, yep. then you risk the dancer to win the game, even if the odds are slightly worse. <laughs> yeah, and then you don't have a second dancer to recover either, but there's plenty of other recover pieces. Mm, he's got this he does have a, an AG up, doesn't he, which has blodge and... He could just bolt That's any. He, he could literally bolt any turn right in that five. Yeah. Just come in and do something. So. Yep. Though, as I said, this turn with the diagonal um, guard piece backed up by the plus agility. I mean, they both are, but the war dancer right behind it. The angle to get other pieces in around and support just wasn't there. So this turn was fairly safe. Yeah. Now, <laughs> he's basically said, "If you want to score, it's fine," hasn't he? Yeah. Because Ducky's downed catcher can just run straight into the end zone, and it's a tiny little pass to get it there with no interceptions. Yeah. Um, I'd be quite surprised with what Ducky said if he doesn't try that. Then he is thinking, actually, a dancer up. I want to fight this half out. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, he has he has made that big removal, hasn't he? Mm. So, and now, I mean, you can see the difference in Mankis's okay. players. He's got all three guard players around his <laughs> around his dance. <laughs> Well, we're definitely not seeing a score this turn. No. I mean, having said that, we could. We could still um, pass it off to the other dancer on a 2+. plus. Mm. Or you can either hand it off to that catcher in the end zone or go for it once himself. No, no. Nobody is uh, dead. Yeah, besides the useless catcher that yeah, we're about. Apart from the one that's dead, nobody's dead, yep. Yeah. <laughs> of importance, nobody. Some <laughs> random guy died. <laughs> Blood Bowl's a funny old game, isn't it? Apart from the guy, and, and like everyone agrees, like with that assessment, is the funniest part. <laughs> apart from the guy, oh, this is a strength two line. Yeah. Gets banged out. 
I mean, a lovely target, no block, strength two. It's a guard, so a good value piece to take down. Um, we're now incredibly near the remaining dancer with this cage, Jim. Mm. Are we baiting the wizard? Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, he can screen in front, can't he? Which he's, which he's going to, but it's going to be a, a very hittable catcher. It's going to have to go in there. And this one's going to have to go up and around. This is a bit, this is a bit, no, he should have done this first, I think. Well, at the moment, there's an easy leap square into assaulting the dancer from the row case. Closed that one. Into we assaulting the dancer from the rear, which is something I do like to do. Are we going to see a foul here? No. <laughs> There's something you've got. Your, your microphone's picking up something, PC, like like okay. clicking constantly almost. So I don't know if you want to push to talk or something, because that's yeah, people might find that. I'll uh, I'll replug. Cheers. I was uh, thinking that maybe we're going to see a foul. Yeah, I thought that. There's a dirty player and it's Ducky. So oh, yep, there you go. There you go. There you go. That was that was a nice target. But now there's an open there's an open door into the rear. So yeah, <laughs> his back door's wide open. <laughs> Will he go for it? Oh god! This, I mean, he's got to think about it, hasn't he? Like he's got a lot here where the edge five is. He's put a lot in the way of the edge five, which is nice. Rather than like a, he could have made like a thinner screen, right? A thinner, wider screen, but he's gone for a denser screen, from particularly where the actual. It's only move seven. Probably a pretty good idea. Very interesting, isn't it? How do you deal with wizards? Um... I mean, I really like this screen, Jim. I think that's a, it, it's beautifully set up. The dancer didn't have an easy route in, um, and as you said, the agility piece is is double screened away from the ball area. I think it was as an effective and a deterrent to using the wizard as I think was makeable in that space. Yeah. Really nice positioning. <laughs> the, the stupid thing is, it would have still been super easy, barely an inconvenience to come in yeah. and get it, wouldn't it? So it's yeah, like you could have just you just dodge it and come through the rear, don't you? Yeah, bolt the dancer, blitz this guy, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like you know, it's probably really easy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Say it goes here, seven. You've got like two. Two three plus dodges and a three plus pickup, and then like could even dodge out and hunt and pass or something or like anything. It, it's so yeah. so crazy how easy it could have been, but. But he wants a better shot than that, it seems. Yeah, that's the thing, right? The, the chances are you're going to get a better shot. So. Now I wonder how half-hearted this screen is going to be in front of the cage. Mm. I think the main priority here might be stopping the side swap. Yes, um, because yeah. they're only if they go forwards, they're only getting into a tighter space, mm. um, which is very bad when a wizard's in play. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely, we're seeing a, a tentative screen in front, but a full-on screen, you know, stopping them moving directly sideways. Ooh, well, not unless not unless he re-rolls this. Why not? Oof! Doesn't yeah. re-roll it. Okay. I think that might have been a re-roll there. Honestly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like put him here. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Especially if in the first half, I think that you can use rerolls for that in the first okay. half. Well, Ducky looks like Ducky is gonna carry on into this corner. I mean, I I really like blitzing this guy and, and going centre. Why why, yeah. why the dodge was a three plus instead of a two plus? I don't think I think he's scoring, Jim. This doesn't look cagey to me. It doesn't, does it? Well, he's he's got edge three. Three dives on three that. Three players somewhere. Uh, isn't I, mean, I saw that uh, three plus. Oh, it just says yeah, three, yeah. doesn't it? It just yeah. says three, but you get plus one. And in he goes. There he goes, eh? Don't you even dare, it says. Yes, yeah, so he just goes for the score. Interesting. So, yeah, Ducky really was going for the. You know the shootout. That's what he, he didn't say that he was going to go for a shootout, but it was it was strongly implied when he said neither team can protect the ball at all. <laughs> you could infer that he was thinking about going for a shootout. And I, do you know what? I wish I had done that in my uh, my semi final with my high elves. I I really should have gone for that. I think rather than just you know. But never mind. It's, it's late now, isn't it? 
Let it yeah. go, uh, Jim. Let it go. That was then. This is now. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, there is a lot to be said for just making it show. But you know, it's also easy just to lose two one that way, isn't it? So we'll see if Man can I grind this out two one now. Yes, I think with the wizard in charge and the war dancers and all the pieces and things like that, giving the opponent, uh, I think it's easier to defend for uh, Ducky that's mm -hmm. trying to keep uh, stalling. <laughs> yeah. I didn't Ducky yeah. that, or I just did like a normal, a normal bash drive, right? But maybe I should have banged it in quick. We'll never know. We'll never know. But I feel like I made a, yeah, I feel like I made a boo boo. There was a time when Angelina Jolie was filming uh, somewhere near Elstree, which is quite near where I live. And if I'd found out, I could have gone round there. <laughs> I, I will always live with that regret, Jim. But sometimes we just need to move on. You know, I think if I had stalked her heavily for a few weeks, she would have fallen in love with me. Mm. But I guess it's Ooh. possible she wouldn't. I think the chance of me winning his shootout versus two of the six Skaven might have had better odds of success, but we'll, we'll never know. <laughs> we will never know, Jim. Never know. Who was filming? Angelina Jolie, that's Angelina it. Jolie. Ah. During the time of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and of course, you know, her and Brad Pitt did fall in love on that film. But, mm. you know, she because uh, you weren't around, uh, you see, because you weren't around. Brad Pitt was the second choice. I know. Yeah, that, well, that's how I feel. Yeah. But we will never truly know. Right, so we have all four dancers back on the pitch. Uh, and this time, the ones coming for the ball are Agility 5. Mm. Do you know what, PC? I was going to say I'd choose you over Brad Pitt if I had to get married to oh, one of you. But then I realised, I realised, as soon as I was about to say it, that I could just, uh, I could just divorce him and get lots and lots of millions, couldn't I? So actually... Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then just use me as a lover on the side. I'd probably be alright with that. <laughs> so yeah, sorry, I, sorry, I would actually choose Brad Pitt. <laughs> you could pay me like one of your French girls. <laughs> hey, um, only, only to divorce him for his money. On, only for his money. That, you know, if, if if money wasn't a factor, PC, I'd pick you over Brad Pitt. <laughs> well, I. I I hear he's a 40k fan, Jim, and I think that would upset all of us. Oh, really? No. No. Supposedly, Will Smith might have played it, right? Because his, his son's into it, supposedly. So, okay. Wait, wait, the son of... Uh, is into it? He has yeah, the one uh, that isn't an actor but's made those films. He's a worker, so probably paint the miniatures for him and play for him. <laughs> <laughs> Now, looking at this uh, this lovely, lovely elf team that's coming to assault this drive, I tell you what, I bet he would swap one of those Agility 5 dancers for an Agility and Leap on one of his guards. Mm. Yeah, Slam Catcher would be okay, wouldn't it? Mm. Oh my god, Kaylon. <laughs> she found out he wasn't an elf man, like he said. <laughs> Only because she dismisses things on fumble. She just she's a graphics whore. <laughs> oh my god. That would it's be the literal funniest thing ever, wouldn't it? If that was true. <laughs> Rejected by Angelina Jolie because <laughs> because you have played fucking dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gotta re roll that. Yeah. I mean, that the sort, of, uh, sort of dice you think about not re-rolling in the second half, but probably still re-roll. But in the first half, that's a re-roll all day long. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I was waiting for the... I was waiting for the punchline. Flip me. Uh, James, it's it's not that interesting a story, but I was actually once stalked myself, uh, genuinely. Mm. It is fun, uh, and it is weird. Well, it me. And of course, I'm not anywhere near as vulnerable as some of the people that are normally stalked and targeted. 
So no, I do apologise if anyone feels it was toxic to make light of a very serious subject, but I felt it was always appropriate and known that that was humour, from context and tone of voice. Mm. If that has triggered any unfortunate memories, then my apologies to you. It wasn't do, me. Do yes. seek professional help. And call the police. It wasn't me, Steve. <laughs> Oh god. Oh wow. We've got some Thomas T side stepping here. <laughs> you certainly do. That's that's a bit rowdy. He's gone for the rowdiness. He's trying to make something happen. Well, I don't hate this. I mean, people do <laughs> habitually screen their wood elves with uh, with very lightweight catchers. <laughs> Um, you can orc yourself on top of these, can't you? Because a lot of strength three, even with guard or, or block, you're up against things that just aren't going to want to hit you back or mm. stay there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Thomas, dude. It's, it's too funny now. It's, it's too funny. It can't not be a thing anymore, right? <laughs> it has to be a thing now. I, you've driven him to Nurgle in shame. Oh, God, really? Oh, I do apologise. Yeah, the tree root, it is quite big. I don't think the trees are going to be that key in this drive, but it is, it's the nice one of the pair, isn't it? It's the block guard one. Mm. Really nice. And it does mean that if, if Mankis can keep his from rooting, uh, and hence moving it first, then uh, it, you know, it has some power, maybe... I have seen a tree hit an elf, I think, twice. <laughs> and hello, Artemis. Thanks for thanks for keeping us right and mentioning things happening in the match. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nice to see somebody's watching it. <laughs> you know, I, I was trying, you know, to maybe so you say something, but this is a royal coaster of uh, subjects. <laughs> Curiously, all of them focused on PC, you know, what a surprise. <laughs> I'm just saying, actually, I think it's um, it's a very clever use of that tackle dancer. With the Guardian next to it, I don't see how it's blitzable. And it's mm. such a threat to leap over those catches, and even dodging out, obviously, is a, a re-roll free two, which uh, no elf likes. Mm. Oh, there's a Kaz. That one might get up, or that's a hell of a hell of a line. Yes. Yep, Apple it is. Yeah, in. the super line, or you wouldn't apple a lineman. Well, Ducky just has. I mean, it's a great I mean, lineman, isn't it? To be fair, blood step guard. No Thomas stepping for him. <laughs> oh, hello, Steve Motti. I was a good fan at the end of the stream. I was in a game and uh, there was a hacker and it was fucking hilarious because the guy was uh, moving at like the speed of light, flying mm. and everything. So it was everybody was like, what the hell is going on? It was, I'll put the, I got a clip when I, I think Tapico King made a couple of clips of the, just the hacker, but I'll put the, another clip later when you can see, you know, the guy uh, just running around, killing everybody, flying. So yeah, it was good. Thanks for asking. It's good then, to, you know... I'm glad I uh, can talk about things not related to the game in this Blood Bowl game, like every other commentator. <laughs> yeah, and uh, to get back to it, it was a 2 and one yes, it was a frenzy opportunity. But, uh, you know, as I said, it's not going to be a, it's not gonna be a bad thing, is it? He's just going to make the same plays. And, uh, and exactly, he's just going to completely ignore the fact that frenzy is a... Has negatives as everybody does, and everybody constantly gets away with forever. So there you go. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Donna kebab, chili sauce. I thank you very defend. much, Faulty, for staying fantastic for 38 glorious Ordering a months. kebab. What kebab do I get in sauce combo? Air? Well, for the uh, bringing the the real thing, <laughs> not the glory thing. Oh boy, howdy, twat magnet. This I don't like this already. <laughs> I like this even less. 
<laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will okay. You've got to have the salad. I will have salad. You've got to have chili sauce. Mixed kebab, garlic sauce. No, garlic sauce is terrible. You're all scumbags. Um... <laughs> As a Spanish person, I feel insulted by the comment, but then I remember we're talking about the garlic sauce in a, a Darlington chippy. Exactly, right, yeah. Obviously, garlic's lovely, and like loads of garlic things are lovely, but fucking garlic sauce in kebab shops, horrendous. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. <laughs> there you go, some golo. Yeah. Again, the game doesn't matter much that anyway, right? Who wins? Because yeah, they're both about the same. They're both two thousand-ish woodies. It's just as PC said. It's just good for everybody else that one of them's going to go out. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, you've got a license for that. So. Nope, there's a Kaz, Ooh. a ducky foul, sent off, but huge, huge, do you up all this? It's like a brilliant catcher. Then it up was left. Well, there must be, because it's got skip. Oh, no. No, yeah, 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 earlier, didn't he? No, there's no apple. He was just scaring, he was just staring at the screen. It's just because the time was going down. Yeah, yeah, the dancer, didn't he? Yeah, the dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Badly hurt dancer was apple, and a badly hurt lineman's been apple. So, yeah, both apples are gone. Two men gone for Ducky, so Ducky's now da capped at 11, isn't he? And uh, one man gone for Mankiss, so they're both, both, both coaches are capped at 11, teams capped at 11. We'll see how that goes, but I think that was a really good trade, so yeah, Ducky will uh, sign for that trade any day of the week. Mm. Tree stands back up, second time it stood straight back up. Let's, uh, God. <laughs> let's, let's not wish terrible diseases on, uh, on call casters, Artemis. <laughs> on lovely, lovely, friendly Irish call casters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why would you be so mean to him? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean uh, we we have the company of Colon G more than once here in this uh, booth, you know. So. <laughs> Don't have shit opinions on food, Tom Schnees. You try eating a fucking kebab in Dalo with with garlic sauce on it, and then come back to me. Yeah. Yes, honestly. and when uh, a British person say a kebab. They don't mean a real kebab like you can have in the rest of the world. It's just a, a plastic box full of meat with salad over it and three liters of sauce. Yeah, yeah, it's the three. It's three. Like that's the thing. You're right. You might like some of the some of the garlic sauce might be okay, but they fucking douse it in it. They fucking douse it in it. Like, oh my god, it's literally yeah, three liters, three liters of sauce. There you go. Um, and yeah, we've got a huge removal there. The adjunct tackle dancers out. There's only one adjunct tackle that dancer the, left. That gives the uh, monkeys a very good chance because uh, with the IG5 dancers and not having sure hands on anywhere or anything like that, that was a very good chance that, you know, uh, Duck is much better at yep. being dangerous to the ball than the other way around. Yep, and that was another two to one that got removed. That's why he removed. That's why he re-rolled it, right? Because he, he rolled pushes. He rolled pushes, and he was going to frenzy trap himself, so he re-rolled it into a into a power and removal. So there you go, fantastic, absolutely fantastic play from Mankis. There it takes an absolutely terrible skill that uh, screws his war dancer, but then just uses it to get removals. Brilliant, brilliant play. There you go. And uh, yes, you are right. The uh, hummus, the salad is in a trash bag. <laughs> so they just put the hand inside, yes, whatever comes out, what is the salad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> mm, 
the good thing about the chippies, you know, in the UK is that all the chippies are exactly the same. Doesn't matter uh, <laughs> where you go, what you do, or tell you that, but there is always, you know, the same things. <laughs> if there is a telly on the on the chippy, it's a football game. But you don't recognize any of the teams <laughs> or where they're playing. One of the guys behind the bar is with his arms uh, across his chest, looking at the game, <laughs> very interested, not paying attention to any customer. Yes. The delivery guy has like three mobile phones. <laughs> you know, the driver is, uh, has like three mobile phones, but he's checking only one of them all the time. <laughs> sitting, around, sitting there and just one phone. And the guy cooking is shouting to someone in the back that is answering to him, but none of them can understand each other. So they're just shouting all the time. In a language that you don't, don't understand. Doesn't matter which language it is. Nobody knows what language they talk. You're like, Wah! and that's where it comes. Ooh, ah, ooh. That's it. That's a chippy. Oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> that's, that's unbelievable, yeah. Wow. Oh wow, is this a double GFI blitz? Looks like it. To stick himself on a tree as well. Wow. Despicable. Wow. No, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Every kebab shop I've ever been in. I know, right? It's unbelievable. Yes, yes. And there is always uh, also there is a, a customer there that is just looking at the price list and I call him the captain, you know, because the captain in a ship that the ship is moving in the sea, the guy is just moving left to right slowly, checking the price list. Doesn't matter how long you are going to be there, the guy is going to still be there when you leave. <laughs> Haven't ordered anything. That's true. Oh my god. And if by any chance you there, you there to ask for napkins, <laughs> everybody falls dead silent, look at you, <laughs> and then, you know, the guy behind the bar that wasn't just watching the football, moves down, grabs a handful of napkins and puts them on the table, you know, like it's an impersonal insult, like, <laughs> your napkins, sir. And you're like, what, what the hell is happening here? Why everybody looking at me because I ordered napkins? Because British people just don't understand the concept of napkins. <laughs> also, I just want to say, after after yesterday, you know how you were muted for ages and didn't realise. Um, oh, I was going to say, PC's muted, but now he's gone. So just in case he didn't know he's muted, but now he's left. So I guess something's come up for PC. Um, there you go. Oh, my God. Uh, it's part of my uh, stand-up comedy, living in Britain for two of the years. Kebabs, all the same. And yes, they're always uh, speaking on something that you don't know what the language is. Could be even a British uh, regular chippy, you know, with uh, British guys there, but it doesn't matter. The chippy language is a secret code. It's like the language of the dwarves. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Wow, that was uh, some big rolls, but yeah, that was a very much left open by Ducky, but he's he's running out of players, right? He's down a lot of players this drive, so he just didn't have a lot to uh, to cover, especially with the double GFI blitz. But never mind. Boss man. I'm having a couple of spit. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? But uh, to, to someone who said about the what do you do now, there's no foreigners. The thing about Brexit was, it was like, you know, although they said we wanted con we want control of our borders and everything, what they were, they were also like, well, now we can. It doesn't mean that we will. <laughs> <laughs> but things can change. <laughs> they can change now. Oh, this is the last turn, so he's got a double GFI. He got no lateral movement, but he does have the handoff option here. This is a little bit. Uh, yeah, maybe he should have made some GFIs last turn, man, kids, to have got a little bit forward here, because this is, as it is, this is a uh, very dangerous. There is a counter score option available. 
So Ducky here, if he chooses to go in and sack the ball with a uh, tackle strip. Uphill tackle strip. He might go for it, mightn't he? There's no side step, so he could he could he could scoot him out over here. Which could give him a recovery though his edge five is uh KO'd. Is he going in? He is. He's going in the uphill strip. Oh, there you go. Gets him. Gets it. And crucially that's out of range as well. That I think that was what really made it, right? Just just the push gets him out of range as well, so now there's only one scoring threat, so it was very low risk to go for this. Oh, he gets the catch. So now he's just gotta cover this this catcher. Professional stripper. God, Lionel can score. No, he can't. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Oh, yeah, he can. <laughs> yes, he can. Yes, he can. Will he? Wow, I'm surprised you didn't put more in around him. So we can GFI, punch him out of the way, blitz this guy and score, I don't know. Yes. We can do it this way as well. Seems very easy to deal with. Like, incredibly easy to deal with. In fact, you can just go there and just dodge and blitz and then block and... No, I guess he's got sidestep. We can fill in the sidestep squares even. This is, this seems really easy to score. I feel like Ducky should have done better, but I mean it's hard. Like it's hard to do better, but still. The Germans have scored. Oh, tragedy. The Germans! Sorry, Fimea. <laughs> nah, it's all right. I'm not playing that game, so yeah. Also, I don't get any money. Either, whoever wins the World Cup. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't really care about England either, to be honest. Tough. Oh, what a lie! What a lie! When I say I don't care, it's not the same. When you see it, you don't care. <laughs> I don't care all the time. You don't care when they lose. <laughs> hey. Oh, is he off? It's close. Oh, he was offside. It's 0-0. Nil -nil. Well, there you go. He didn't score. They all celebrated. I thought it was 1-0, but it was 0-0. It was offside, yeah. Oh, so he... Yes! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't really... I really don't care. Is this, this a bot? Is this... What's this? Why is he... Why is this? What's this? What's... Why are these people going... Uh, wait, uh, what? Those monkeys uh, know it's uh, turn 8. He's going to try to score with a... Oh, he's chaining him there. To get him into range that way. Ah, alright. It's in range now. Chain him into range rather than just clear. Like, it was so easy just to clear the other catcher and then hand off to him. But there you go. And elves do elf things, and they score. And uh, by the way, we lost PC. He disconnected, so yeah. <laughs> Go to the chippy. Yeah, he was muted for a bit as well before, so yeah, yeah. something happened. Well, it's, I think it's the Thanksgiving uh, uh, weekend, so it's probably his daughter uh, telling him that another Thanksgiving with him, without him winning challenge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's going to finish college soon. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh my god, Sat is Sat is incredible with the uh, with the most interesting man in the world meme. <laughs> I'm guessing that's uh, something on the on the Discord. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it on. I'll put it on here. Um,
Also, Pedro Jack asked uh, what I was talking about before earlier, the chippy rant, or the chippy truth, as I like to... It's <laughs> 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 because I stream uh, Chivalry 2, the medieval slasher uh, video game, with teams of 32 players hitting each other with swords, and hammers, and chickens. <laughs> chickens, yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you think the chicken is the only weapon in the game that they're gonna cancel the friendly fire with the chicken? That's how powerful is the chicken. Wow. You can hit your teammates with anything else, <laughs> but the chicken, they're gonna cancel it. No, because when it's on fire, the damage is not reduced, so it was full damage. <laughs> oh, and uh, also I've got this look. Oh, that's, that's, that's been doing the rounds a little too much. Is something wrong with that image? I mean, more than uh, uh, suggesting that someone is into fit. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that image. It's incredible. It's the best image that I've ever made. I, think. <laughs> I actually went to the like you know the I went to the effort of making the. Uh, the, the feet a, a bit out of focus because we're in the foreground and then making his face like, you know, changing the uh, hue and saturation to make it fit the, the rest of the picture. So, you know, I really... Oh, I, I thought you just went to the artificial intelligence uh, artist and wrote the funniest thing ever. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have done. Quib snap, yeah. So there you go. So the Ducky's Ducky's quick score making a shoot up thing hasn't really worked out, has he? He's look like he's getting to two one grinded here. Mankiss has got the uh, wizard was back up as well. So yep, this is dangerous here. This is the this is what might happen, right? If you go for the make it a shoot out plan, if you don't make it a shoot out, you just get two one grinded. So you know, good drive by Mankiss, I guess, to uh, to not let Ducky in uh, by by making terrible frenzy trap blitzes that were uh, instant cases. But you know. Let's the dice have talk. <laughs> Let's try not to be as quite as negative as Artemis, <laughs> but it is true. <laughs> like, yeah, it's 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 this this game has shown why frenzy on a dancer is bad, and yet his reward has been two cars. <laughs> so there you go. What can you say? Back in a second. Okay. Okay. Oof. Still nil nil. Easy footy. How many elves died already? Um, this one is is miss next, and then this one is dead. But no one cares about. Them. And yeah, both apples gone. Ducky's gonna have to come for the ball. Like he can't just he can't just screen. Right, screening is ineffective. He has to. And also, like sitting deep isn't isn't great, like you know. And then a late push, and then one chance to sack it. I think he's got to try and. He has to go for the goal, uh, for the ball, because Monkeys has a wizard. Yeah, I think and he's got to push it, push for and it. And if Monkeys scores, you know, and uh, Ducky doesn't, uh, Monkeys wins. Mm. 
and you don't want to, even if you manage him not to score, you don't want to go to overtime versus a Woody with a wizard. No. Oof, this is a <laughs> a very Thomas T like placement. <laughs> Uh, Darin uh, World Answer that. <laughs> oh man, I just want to say it all the time now. Uh, but you know, it could it could also be a Narina Chunter, right? It's all the same, all the same, just that same kind of, all that same kind of play. It was literally just because it was Dark Elves that I said Thomas T. That was the thing, and it wasn't. It wasn't an insult, was it? It was just. Uh, that's who came to mind. What kind of play style. No worries, and the man himself has been here more than once and agrees with it, so... Yeah, it's, it's certainly, it's not a criticism, is it? It's not, it wasn't a criticism, it was just... No offence. It was no offence, it wasn't, it wasn't like a fucking... I didn't say it was a fucking stupid Thomas T. size step, you know, that would have been... Yeah, that would be maybe uh, a little much. But sometimes uh, Jimmy is as uh, diplomatic as the a sailor's drunken fist. <laughs> uh, this was not one of the cases. And uh, also Thomas has been here more than that. Everybody knows he plays that way. Yeah, yeah. That's how he plays. Chalice regular with Dark Elves. That's, that's what you think of. Yes, like, if it had been Skaven, I would have said Chunder. If it had been Wood Elves, I would have said Inarian, right? It's, it was just like, it was just because... And uh, exactly. And if it was Amazon, you would have said no one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it was dwarves, I would have said purple chest. <laughs> Wait, but he's an elf coach. It's in the closet, elf coach. <laughs> That's why he cost uh, him the love of his life. <laughs> Right, so this, he could go for the 1D strip here, couldn't he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, he can't. <laughs> no, no, he can't. Maybe that's why PC led, you know, because he was talking about Angelina Jolie and all that, and he was at the, in the house, you know, in the dinner after Thanksgiving with all the family present, you know, and he's talking to the screen. Ah, Angelina Jolie, the true love of my life, you know. And the wife and the kids were just there. <laughs> I was only joking, love. <laughs> you know, like in a movie, like in a movie, the, the camera pans out and the whole family is there. <laughs> wow, Hamas. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sydney Thomas intimidated by Chad or anything ever in my life. So that's no. bullshit, Hamas. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. <laughs> Someone I used to know would bullshit all the time. I can't remember what it was. I like this, getting a bit of penetration, you know, because he's he's gotta have like some kind of threat here to uh you know, like, and that's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty nice. Oh wow, killed him. And another dead? Match five dead. Whew. Huge. Huge. Okay, I don't like this. I prefer to have him here. And then, like, someone in front, you know, screening it. I don't like screening with this fucking Edge Dancer. But if, he, if he'd been protected, like, you know, here or... Yeah, if the Dancer would come back to here, right? That's pretty nice, isn't it? When he's screened. But um, I really hate the Dancer being exposed. But yeah, here we go. A bit of basing. Love to see it. Yeah, make something happen. He's got to. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Hammers, you asshole. <laughs> some people bullying. deserve. He's not bullying if it's deserve. Yeah, some people deserve to be bullied, Hammers. Yes, that's <laughs> called justice. <laughs> okay, he's using the guard to protect him. Okay, and that's pretty cool getting this guy in, but he can still 3 2 out, but. Um, Three top either way, so that's pretty nice though, yeah, okay now. It's a bit better. I hate it slightly less now. Yeah, all of a sudden man is up against it. The tree's isolated over here, this guy's surrounded, this guy's surrounded, so he's only got like seven players. In a bit of a tricky spot now. 
Is the old man kiss meat throttler? He does have the offensive wizard though as a possibility, doesn't he? So you know if he really gets into trouble. Well if he anticipates getting into trouble he can whiz to break away or something. Yeah, and if he, he always has trouble, this option but that's the last thing he wants to do, but maybe yeah. it's the thing that he must do because yeah, yeah being down elves is more or less okay unless you are against more elves. <laughs> yeah. Because he can't outrun a Ducky. And Ducky has more agility than him. Yep. He's in a bit of a pickle. He's in a bit of a pickle. The problem is like it's hard to use a wizard preemptively, right? Like it's really hard, but Oh, it's really easy to use. The hard part is doing it right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean, yeah. <laughs> and it's hard to like bring yourself to do it as well. Like even if it's the, even if it's the right play, it's hard to bring yourself to do it because it's like, you know, it's tricky. Just made an hilarious comment in Discord there. Amuse myself. Obviously, uh, Jimmy is not talking about his uh, Discord. He's probably talking about the, the SFL Discord. Yeah, no, actually, the, just the Blood Bowl uh, 2 CCL Discord. Oh, um, <laughs> you'll never get me in that. <laughs> yeah. And again, the frenzy. Uh... Two and one uphill there, was it? Yep, two and one uphill there. Absolute frenzy trap, no problem. No problem. Classic. Like, the guard could have been here, but then he wouldn't have had a cage, so yeah. This is just exactly what you expect from Frenzy, isn't it? Yes, it's terrible, but and people just don't care. They just ignore it, you know? PC was like, will that affect how he uses it? No, it won't. He'll use it exactly the same, and he'll just, he'll just like, think, mm, maybe there'll be a downside, and that's what people tend to do. Well, I that think is terrible. This guy should have been one back, right? This guy. This, he still can be. Surely he has to be one back here. Yes, you can, you can left any chance of a hole in your uh, screen. Boy, howdy. And he does have loads of... Oh, I guess it was to get him in range, right? So he's got him in there, so he's in range. That's why he's here. So he's in range to score. That's why he didn't want to run back, I guess. Will Ducky go for the uh, red die strip? He could do. He's got a lot of stuff next to it to react. He could see the red die strip. With a kind of sensible turn before it, and uh, these three advanced players to react. We might not, but we could. You got, uh... Well, yes. Okay, we'll cover that uh, first. Make things a little harder, and then. Yeah, I think we'll just see a sensible turn. I think we could. I, I, like we could have seen something, but just knock him out as a scoring threat. You know, blitz him with a tackle there. And then oh, just so he's going to three dice the catcher. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, move the tree there. That was always thinking. That's a nice spot yeah, for the tree. Lovely, lovely. Get the guard in for him. Like, because this is the thing. Like, yeah, there's a chance to go for the ball this turn, but if he nails him, there's no scoring chance for uh, for Mankis, and next turn could be even tougher for Mankis. So, yeah, I like this turn for Ducky so far. Indeed, Tomshin, so would I, but what the point the point that the, the PC asked and that I made was that it will not affect how it will not yeah. affect how Mankis plays and it hasn't. I, I was going to say he's going to blitz the guard uh, uh, yes. Strength two. Wait, mm -hmm. did he need the tree there? Yeah the tree the, the, the tree was assisting the dancer, right? 
Yes, but they say he was hitting a strength two piece. Yeah, but he was assisting this this dancer, like the other dancer hitting the dancer. Oh, right, so he, right, he right, right, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. Which was really nice. I'm surprised. I, I really like hitting this guy in three, though, because now he's got this chance, right? And it's like he would have had no chance if you had uh, if you'd blitzed him. Then I still think you get in a really nice spot. Really nice but for next turn. Like that's what it's about, isn't it? It's about the the turn for the next turn. That's hilarious. Thanks, Hammers. That sounds that sounds like really fucking sarcastic. Hila uh, that's hilarious, but you know. What are you talking about? I said I made a hilarious comment in Blood Bowl to Discord, and then fucking Hammers <laughs> responded to it with "That's hilarious." <laughs> 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 fucking asshole. <laughs> 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 It's uh, what's it called? One World, One Blood Bowl tonight, isn't it? Tonight. Mmm. It's back into it. Yeah, about the uh, about you know the Blood Bowl, well the World Cup, the World oh, Cup. Oh, of course. Of, of but it's, it's not like in September Cup. next year. Yeah, yeah, but they've just brought out the rules pack. That's the thing, and and that rules pack will be used by lots of people to like you know. Uh, all the regular tournaments. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I am not on one world one blood bowl, no. Um, he's asked, he's asked uh, table toppers. Um, I think it's purple goo. There was so, there were two. There were, it was Andy Devo and Kalon, and then there's somebody else as well. Somebody a bit out of the ordinary was the third one. Oh, Joe Manji. There you go. Yeah, Joe Manji. A table topper. I knew it was a table topper. <laughs> so, Manke's just swinging to the right hand side. Oh, and I've just realised Steve resubbed then as well. Thank you, Steve, for staying fantastic for 32 minutes ago. No, for 21 glorious months. <laughs> Mixed kebab and garlic sauce. Thank you very much. Five who be apprentices. Sorry about that. And faulty. I said 38, but it's four, nine and a half be apprentices, isn't it? It is, it is. The question is, is the kebab already arrived? Probably he hasn't he hasn't spoken for thirty for twenty for twenty three minutes ago he put I like Jimmy fantastic so that was probably wait when, when the kebab wait came. the kebab was for him I think he was ordering a kebab for you no no it's for himself yeah just for himself and uh, Joe Manji. I played Joe Manji. It was hilarious when I played Joe Manji because we were both, we had both been on like table one and lost, so we were both like out of contention to win the tournament. So we were both fucking pissed off as fuck. <laughs> oh wow, sure feet fail. Huge. And now there is an easy access to his ball carrier. Flip me. That is a huge thing. Oh, wow. We can even get an assist. We can get, get two dice here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. I can punch him as well. Yep. Even better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it doesn't really. That doesn't matter, actually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Yeah. Do you make the GFIs to make this a. Uh, Oh, he's got he's got sure feet. So yeah, yeah, he's definitely yes. going to come around and, and assist that, and make it two D. Hundred percent going to make this a two D. Oh, flip me! Chance. How exciting! Is the best chance that uh, he's going to have. Mm. One of the best chances we're going to have. Mm. Hey. 
Yeah, Minty Kikira. Lots of people have said... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but there you go. Um, lots of people have said about how much of a birth... How much of a birth? How much of a buff Sneaky Kit is. But it's a nerf, isn't it? Because you, there's no longer the full distance run-ups. Very, very sad. Very sad about the lack of run-ups. They don't... Uh... They don't get it, they don't get the, the players. <laughs> you can actually just, no, one dodge is better, right? One dodge and... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, one dodge, two GFIs and make it 2D. Or use them for recovery, but I think, I think getting the assist in and making it 2D is better. Personally... Maybe he's not going now. Yeah, here we go. Ah, uh, here we go. Pop dodge. Pop and pass, uh, surfing, maximum use of his skills. Uh, <laughs> well played, Ducky, a true professional. Yeah. Well, he's just going to leap straight in, yeah. Then he's got loads of movement for rec potential recovery. Oh, he's got to re-roll it. Re oh! oh! But what wait, wait, fuck? wait, wait. I know. No, no good. No good. Flip me. Strip tackle. He was like, what What percentage chance was he there? Like 90-odd percent to get the ball? Something like that. Very, very high. Very, very high. Yeah. Especially with the roll. Yeah. I mean, only one in nines wouldn't get him the ball. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> eight and nine. Uh... Unbelievable. And there's the bolt. Oh! Well, <laughs> there he, is a uh, bolt. He clearly there. Flip That's me. a bolt if I ever saw one. That's Flip the price me. of failure. <laughs> Jesus. Well, there you go. You don't like to use a, a preemptive ball, but that's how you do one, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. Jesus. That was the true rage of God. The lightning ball that six. The armor just enough, and then 11 and 66. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he won in it. He won the ball sack. Oh my I'll god! I get rewarded that's... with dead. Yeah, that's unbelievable. So happy I've not been ducky right now. Yeah. I mean, most of the time I'm happy I've not been ducky, you know, but uh... <laughs> now especially. <laughs> and no more frenzy drops in the the return of monkeys. And he still has the blitz. Yeah, so you can blitz this guy out and then get a full cage around. Well, screen around. Yep, this is looking real bad for the duckster. Yes, Artemis, yep. It is It is for sure bullshit, isn't it? Yeah, that could be one of the plays of the tournament. Mm. He's not on DT. He's not in the main tackle. It's a sprint. Sure feet. Sure and feet. a sprint. Oh, my bad. Yep, yeah, that's it. So that's brutal, isn't it? I mean, even if he was, he could, I guess he's sized up, so he's gonna just blitz him off. But he gets to blitz through, doesn't he? And yeah, he's go for full cage. He could have, like just screen, but I guess full cage is just as good as same same difference really. I guess this way he gets guard on both corners for the uh, the other dancer leaping in. As if he just he could have got further and screened. I don't think the other dancer is going to be very motivated to leap in there, you know. He saw <laughs> what happened to the last one. Yeah. Yeah. I think I would have tried to get further away, honestly, but like this is obviously pretty safe. He's no longer uphill yet, but I mean, he's got to uphill him, right? Like, he just has to uphill him now. There's no other option because you're just losing if you don't. I bet Ducky would like a wizard right about now. 
Funk soul, brother. Well, and yes, Ducky has to act now. He didn't need to wrestle. I mean, he would have got wrestled with another skill, right? Like, he had strip and tackle, so... 14 more SPPs, he would have had to wrestle without a stat. Uh, so I think, uh, in general, there's most around... Most of the time, uh, strip ball or tackle are better than wrestle on a war dancer. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, it, it, it would be the next skill, one. yeah. Yeah, which would be the next one, unless it's a st another stat. Yeah, stat readable, yeah. But if it was another normal, you would have taken it. Well, yeah, a double, to get, a double to get Juggernaut, maybe, or something like that, but... Uh... Well, you know, he maybe he used his team in open ladder. <laughs> Say that no one ever. Yeah, yeah, he's not as... No, he's not worried about the death as much as the fact he's lost the game, certainly. But there's still a chance. Don't say it's over. Don't say it's over. The other day, it was in Elio's uh, channel, and he said that it was over around turn four in a game. Was not that. I know, was, yeah, yeah. Even I even was, played my song of it's over. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's like I was like, oh my god, I left, I left after that. You know, the, <laughs> this man is broken now. I think he's just gonna blitz the catcher, maybe. Actually, looking at the way he's done everything else, I think he's just gonna blitz this catcher. Like, cause everyone's moved, haven't they? Yeah. And yep. Oh god. Terrible result. Again, um, three dice, so massive chances with it. And now he's thinking, should I roll this? He Yay, rolls it. He gets a pow. Woo! Only took him the eighth dice to roll the pow. <laughs> he took him around ten dice to get it, but you know, finally. Mm -hmm. I think a Satterfield is right there. Well, it's Ducky, so frustration is not... I don't expect Ducky to lose his nerf, but... He's thinking... To reach over time or win the game, you know? Yeah, he had to do... I need, to, 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 he I need, to do I need uh, things to happen. Yeah, yeah, he absolutely had to, yeah. You know, reaching turn 16, lose the game with four roll, with two rolls, is not like... Uh, It's not like anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> now, Monkeys is a. Uh... By the way, I have to say that the uh, Blood Bowl 2, fantastic models and all that, but when it's a mirror match, it's an absolute nightmare. Yeah, it is tricky. The colors are so similar that I barely know, you know? Yeah, they should have like home and away kits, right? Like that. They have it in Blood Bowl 1. And they're not going to have it in Blood Bowl 3, but they should have had it in, in 2 and 3 as well, like just an option for home and away kids for sure. Oh. Classic, classic frenzy. 1 in 1. I mean. Can't blame uh, Monkeys for that because he barely has any players available. Right, you can blame him for taking Frenzy. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that on paper look very good. Mm. But yeah, he's lost a lot of players, yeah. And he has, uh, or at least had, the other uh, dancer. So you say you know, have Frenzy on one and the other this. Oh, that's nice, nice blitz, isn't it? And that, if he powered him, we would have given him. No, not, not even the power yet. Push him, and then he gets a two plus out. I do wonder if if Mankis should have gone for the score. You know, on that 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 catch that he got into scoring range. Yeah. I wonder if he should have gone for the score on him. I, like I still think Ducky should have blitzed him and just taken away that score option away. But um, this is nice, though, isn't it? And now he's got a two plus out there and a two plus out there. And a two plus out with him, and a three two with him. So yeah, this is it was a really nice blitz. Really nice blitz from Mankis. Ooh. Ooh, dangerous one in thirty six there. Avoid mm -hmm. it.
But now the the the, the dancer hit might be unavoidable. Oh. So yeah, very easy to 1D the ball here. Maybe we just think about putting it here. Or getting to range, I guess. That's an idea, isn't it? run out of time he thinks he'd be going there at his uh, pace he could yeah at least he's got uh, at least no, he's, no, got no. he's going he's, he's going for the brave mm. but that's an IG3 uh, piece Oof. at least he's got uh, a, oh my god another Kaz classic classic dodge fail Kaz at least he's got a numerical second cut timer rather than a a slightly different coloured pink in the bottom left. Bottom oh, left talking about Marvel and Snap, I don't know. I never have any problems seeing the time, but I play on the phone like it was supposed to be played. You <laughs> using your PC for that? It's an insult to PC gaming. <laughs> that's that's fair. <laughs> that's a fair analysis. I can't argue with that. And so, how long has been the game out? Because I got the, you know, I got it because I saw an ad or something like that, and I saw Muppet playing, and then now Muppet is like level four thousand. Yeah, he's he's been in a long time. He was in the he was in the beta. That's the thing. Oh. So he's been in for a long, old time. I don't. I think it has been out kind of recently. Yes. In terms of like full release. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm playing games versus people that have even titles in the name. You know. Mm. Like I don't know how you get a title in the game. Yeah. No, I have not a clue. Hopefully I'll get to inf infinity rank, uh, well, infinite rank, tomorrow. Fingers crossed. That is that. I'm level 1000, I'm struggling to give it, trying to reach 70. <laughs> yeah, it's, it'd be, it's harder for you though, right? Because you're up against people who've got all of the cards. Yeah, more or less, yes. Some, yeah. some cards are there, like, what the hell is this? Yeah, some cards are so OP, it's ridiculous. Wait until you play uh, one of these discard decks that has Hela on it. Oh, I haven't even seen Hela. Brings all the discard uh, cards back into the game. Oh, God. <laughs> all of them in random locations. 6-6. Six, oh six. Hela brings back all of them. Oh, my God. That's insane. That's insane. Holy shit. That's pretty ridiculous. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is good, isn't it? This is uh, this is very interesting. Even though I just did a massive uh, yawn. <laughs> Uh, very tactical uh, game with a lot of death. Yeah, like loads, huge amounts it? of death. Yeah, brutal. So whoever whoever is playing uh, the winner here is the Sing Singolo is the Sing true winner here. Yeah. And then maybe Chunter, right? Like this is looking real nice for Chunter the way the draws opened up. Chunter still hasn't won his quarterfinal yet, but. Still, like, you know, it worked out really great. The two great players getting injured for Cyber Knight has really helped Chunter. And then, like, if it's just a dumb bash team, um, you can easily beat a dumb bash team. Like, you know, it's not that Cyber Knight's dumb, but, like, you know, just bash teams in general, there's not a lot of play to them, right? And they can just easily get out bashed by Killer killer Skaven. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of, lot of luck involved in it for Cyber. He's going to have to get lucky, and if he doesn't get lucky, he's going to get shit on. And then, uh, and then the the semi final, Tempest Soul being in the semi final is a, uh, is, you know, it's not a buy, 
<laughs> but it's a really flipping easy semi-final for 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 for, for, for the scave, and it wouldn't be that easy for the uh, for the chaos, but it'd be pretty easy for the chaos. And then, uh, and then obviously the final dwarves can get clawed and scored on, and uh, the wood elves, if they win, will just won't have a team left after after getting smashed by Singolo. <laughs> I'm not being toxic. I did not I call. Call the back. Or oh, was the kebab uh, holdy? Yeah, I did not call Cyberlight. They just don't have a lot of agency. But Bash teams just don't have a lot of agency, do they? Get shit on! Woo! Roll the one. That was a one and nine. Well. This is a uh, little bit exposed. Maybe I, I think I can see a way to get two dice on the ball. Yeah, there is a way to get two dice on the ball. I, I, I guess he just goes straight through with this. He could go three dice on the ball. Oh, it's a GFI. He could have got like just three dice on the ball with him. Would have been better, but it's a GFI. I wonder if he'll think about going for the GFI, yeah. Because then you've got your Raj 5 to recover, like that's obviously fucking brilliant, but he's only got one reroll. I guess he's got so many players nearby. Ducky. Blockless block here, though, you know, it's. Oh, it's. Having a full on erection right now, probably. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so he could just. He can just 2 plus with dodge to 2D and with tackle. So that's probably what you've got to do. Rock hard! I can see that the, the so kick in. To reposition or anything uh, for the scatter. Yeah, I think I think this is the correct play. Like, as much as you'd have loved to have like moved in the guard and done this hit and then 3 diced him with wrestle, I think he has to. And then this is a 2D into a 2D with wrestle. Yes, this is. Well, but yeah, yeah, because he's got the guard around here, so this is this is really nice, really nice. Safer, isn't it? With 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 the lack of rerolls, you've got you've got to go safe here. As also, in the case of the scatter is, now, is oh, it? Ooh. oh my god, you might even have to reroll this. Wow, he doesn't. Oof. I think you may have to reroll that. Massive argument for a reroll there. Yep, I think I think he needed to think more about that. I think he had to think more about it, and I think he maybe's had to do it. Wow, wow, that could be really costly for Ducky. This is like so easy just to get away, and then. Uh... Four. Oh, it's turn sixteen. It's turn sixteen, so he didn't have to reroll it. Oh my god, he can get away and get up the field, but there's no score, so he didn't have to reroll it. And he can go balls to the wall. Right, it'd be really good if I was paying attention, wasn't it? So, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, he's, he's covered the leap forwards. Which is good, isn't it? Because it's a bit harder to get forward now. And he's covered all the leaps on all of these angles. Except, like, you know, getting out this way. And he doesn't, obviously doesn't care if he leaps well, There is way. no scoring threats for... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Monkeys. Yeah, and that's why he did that dodge first. Because he wanted the scoring threat. But maybe he shouldn't have done so I really I don't know why Ducky went back here, right? I guess in case he just lobs it out and then runs away, yeah. But there's only one player, so really Ducky's like a waste of time running this guy back because if he gets the ball to this dancer, then he can just stand here and Ducky can't get the ball if he powers it, you know? So there was really no need to have this guy back. He should have been up forward as well, probably. <laughs> Fuck off, Hamets. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is. It is. I pride myself on my Discord hilarity. <laughs> That's hilarious. God. Well... Yeah, now you can you can screen this guy and bring three players back. It's not going to be quite enough. Maybe he goes all the way. Maybe he goes up. Yeah, up so he's further away. Yep, 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 yep. 
All right, all right, all right. You can make a penis cage here. Ooh, doesn't go for it yet. I really like the penis cage. You know, you can have a guard here and then two players up there. But he's going for a slight there. He's gone for the. Oh, he's got. This is his own player. So you can try and move out of the way and then make a full X cage. Yeah. Probably should try to move the tree first. Probably should have been his first movement of the turn, so he'd know um, if he could have got this guy to here or not. An interesting point. I mean, like the penis cage. Cage. <laughs> the penis cage. Wait. <laughs> 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 a penis cage might be a thing anyway. Oh, Spain are winning 1 0 anyway. You'll be glad to know. Fine me. Spain are winning 1 0 right now. I don't know when it happened. Wasn't really watching. Oh, yes, it happened in the. Uh, right now, in minute 62 of the game, mm. Alvaro Morata score. Mm. Been actually watching the Blood Bowl unbelievably. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Phoenix Cage makes it better, yeah. <laughs> so you can leap in for a 1D from here, right? Which you can't re roll. Gets the, doesn't get the strip because his stripper's dead. Ha ha. <laughs> ha ha. That's it. It's overtime. Mm. Very exciting. Unless he wants to foul the Dodge guard. Oh, yes. It's Ducky, so maybe he does. <laughs> it looks like it. Who can he foul with? The Roger? Like, is it really worth fouling with a Roger? What? This is crazy. Ducky, you crazy. You crazy, Ducky. I like you, but you're crazy. <laughs> Holy shit, man. That was a... What a foul. There is a lot to say about that foul. Wow. Wow. And PC, PC is back in the chat. Four. I hope everything is going well, uh, PC. Nothing serious happened. Mm. Well, clearly nothing serious happened because you are here. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just texting from the ambulance, you know, vacation <laughs> to Blue Bowl. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, so I guess that, that's kind of a ducky kind of thing to do, isn't it? He does try to try to get, and Chunter as well. Like you know, they try to get lucky. Rick tries to get lucky a lot, doesn't he? And some people like Elliot and myself and Artemis try to like, and PC try to kind of like desperately not let your opponent get lucky, kind of thing. Whereas. But, you know, if you're not trying to get lucky, you're giving them a lifeline as well, aren't you? So, like, I can see the point. I can see the point of doing that sort of thing. But, not what I, I mean, if done. Ducky uh, was going to be even, if that was a send-off up men, I'll approve the, fo the foul. Mm. Because he's trying to get even more advantage. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing, losing the toss and, and against these many L's, he probably loses anyway, right? So, trying to make one more player, it's... Uh... <laughs> hey, hello, Dimmy. Dimmy from the foxhole, lovely to see you. Showing his head, you know, taking his other head out of the foxhole to bring the news. <laughs> oh, man, we need, we need, like, we need a Dimmy, we need a Dimmy foxhole thing. Bear with me. He's so deep in the foxhole that he doesn't even stream it. I know, that's the worst thing, right? At least if he was streaming 24 hours a day in the foxhole, it wouldn't be so bad. But the fact that he never comes out of his foxhole and never streams, it's terrible. <laughs> I haven't seen my family in two months. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, but do you know what I mean? Like it's it's six and two threes, isn't it? Because you know, like it's it, well, it's not six and two threes, but do you know what I mean? It's not like 
there are pro points in the trying. Like, do you know what I mean you're denying yourself the high roll, the high roll by trying to minimize the low roll? Ooh, and while we do yeah. prefer to minimize the low roll, like, it doesn't necessarily mean it's always correct, does it? You can be my wing and Andy Double, <sighs> welcome to the chat, the uh, Andy Double viewers. Uh, we are here watching the overtime of the CCL game, the quarterfinal between Monkeys and Ducky. Both of them would help, as you can see on the screen. And mm. there has been a bloody game. There's been like four deaths? Yeah, loads of deaths, yeah. Absolutely loads of death. Love to see it. When it's L's. Yeah, thank you very much for the raid. And, uh... Yeah, that's it. So, uh, it's over time, Mankis has won the toss. Three rerolls to one, and the ball. I mean, having the ball is huge, right? Wood Elf. Wood Elf on Wood Elf. He has to catch it to pick up first, but... You need to consider the other things we were talking about. What if I lose the the toss? You know. So I think Ducky very good at doing fouls and all that. So probably thought his thinking was, if I can get rid of this guard player and this elf, it makes things much easier if I lose the toss. Yeah. If I win the toss, losing my player. It's not that relevant because it's going to be a really quick... Uh, I'll try to make it as quick as possible. Yeah. So, end of the day, I think the, maybe the numerical odds weren't as good as the implied odds, talking in, po in poker terms. Yeah, it's the implied interesting. Odds, yeah, it's interesting. The implied odds were much better for the long term than the actual play itself. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. At least for Ducky it was. That was his uh, yes. thinking. Yeah. Or maybe Ducky just comes later after the chat and he has, says he has wanted to kick an L. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, j just because... There, look, there's Dimi in his foxhole. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, like, obviously, that's that's that tends to be Ducky's assessment. And... Uh, you know those kind of more positive people try to, you know whereas yeah some people are trying to just not let it happen it's interesting <laughs> medic <laughs> do you have four plus in the guard that's the question probably yeah 75 percent you probably have to you probably have to Could he even go around? No. And you could, but you don't get set. So this guy could, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, potentially, or nine, ten, eleven. So he, he could come all the way around on a three, two. But then obviously, danger of getting sacked. That might be that might be the best player. But obviously, the catcher's like the best guy to react to it. So maybe just go for the seventy-five. He's not going for the seventy-five. Thing. Wait, what was this? Oh, so he was going for the. He was doing the three-three-two with him. Okay. Yeah, that was another way of doing it. Yeah, go around with him. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, rather than going for the four, and he was going to go with three-three-two. And now that he's failed it. This is an all. Oh, he gets the pal. Would have been a two and a two, but yeah, that sidestep means that that's obviously where he wanted to go with a dancer. It's not GG yet, Dimmy. Getting close, but. 
you assist and blitz him, and then leap dodge. Or you can just 3 plus dodge and 3, 3, 2, yeah. So yeah, so assist in, and then uh, blitz, and then what, 3, 3, 2. Or maybe just leap. No, because you've got GFIs to make. So I think you do the re I think you do the dodges. I think the dodges are probably better, right, with it being two GFIs. Does the leap? Oh! Oh! And Drama. that's why I think the dodges were better, because these two GFIs, can he do them both? Does he attempt the Will second? He, he does. Yes. <laughs> And monkeys scores, and his battery, the Wood Elf team, goes to the semi finals. Wowie. Unbelievable. What a game. Unbelievable. Dimmy was always right, yep. Took him 12 AV breaks. Monkeys only made 4 AV breaks, but. <laughs> Ducky took three <laughs> cars and two deaths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maximizing uh, the effects of... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, loads of cars sustained for uh, man caves, but he got through. Which was the main thing, right, against Ducky's buddies. Uh, no one else had managed to do it. So, yeah, great result for man caves. Um And that's going to be a really, really tough game against Singolo in the semi-final. But, um, yes. Yeah, but the Singolo is probably happy that seeing all these pieces die. <laughs> yeah, probably. And uh, and it, like it, it is the worst of the two Wood Elf teams. Like you know, Ducky's team was definitely better, but you know the the Wizard of Man Caves was incredible, wasn't it? It cast it cast the Super Dance, killed the Super oh, Dancer, oh, in killed fact, the so. Super Dancer. So, yeah, the act the of a pure justice. Yeah, the wizard was definitely better than the dancer in this game. Um, so yeah, there you go. Amazing game. Congratulations to Man Kids. Commiserations to Ducky. Thank you very much, Fimea, for coming and doing the commentary. Absolutely glorious. It's always a pleasure to be here, and uh, I hope our viewers in Gabon enjoy this uh, game. And yeah. I'll see you all in the next one. Glorious. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.